and welcome to another Tesla video. Today, I'm out here driving around in the rain, a rare sight here in Southern California, to test out how autopilot works in various driving situations. Now, just a quick disclaimer, this was filmed in January of 2021, so if you're watching in the future, keep in mind autopilot's behavior may change in future software updates. At this time, autopilot is designed to be used only with the driver's full attention. While purposely abusing the autopilot feature seems to be the trend to get views, this is highly unsafe and not recommended. In this video, I will be in the driver's seat the entire time, ready to steer or brake manually if needed. My car is equipped with standard autopilot, which currently comes with all Tesla vehicles at no cost. This is the version we'll be testing today. Tesla also offers a full self-driving package, which looks promising, but since it is a $10,000 option and still in beta, I opted not to purchase it at this time. As you might expect, Autopilot really shines in situations like this, cruising on the highway with no intersections to worry about. It does a great job of following the curves in the road, as well as smoothly accelerating and braking when needed to keep a safe distance from the cars in front of you. If traffic slows to a stop, it will automatically slow to a stop as well and start again when traffic moves. And it's easy to control. Simply double press the gear selector stock to activate and pull up once or press the brake pedal to deactivate. While using autopilot, you can easily change your maximum speed by scrolling up or down on the right scroll wheel. You can still make manual adjustments to the steering and accelerator at any time when needed. Here, for example, I manually steer for a moment to avoid some potholes. In my testing, I was also impressed how Autopilot even handles sharp turns, such as this tight on-ramp. But I'd recommend taking over manually to merge into traffic. So the question is, Autopilot works great on highways, but can it be used on city streets? The answer is, well, sort of, depending on the situation. I've found that Autopilot works best on long stretches of city streets in between intersections. In these situations, it behaves pretty much the same as it would on the highway. On the current software version, Autopilot will detect a red light, but if there are no cars in front of you for it to follow, it will not automatically stop. Instead, it will simply flash a warning at you to take over and you will have to manually apply the brakes. The same applies when approaching a stop sign. The car recognizes the stop sign is there and warns you to take control, but it will not stop automatically. When following another car to a red light, however, Autopilot will automatically stop behind the car as it would on a highway and accelerate when the light turns green and the car in front moves forward. When you approach a green light on Autopilot, the car continues to drive through the intersection without any warning or intervention necessary. I was also curious how Autopilot handles narrow streets with parked cars. As you can see, as my car approaches the parked van on the right, it slows down significantly as it tries to figure out if the van is blocking its path. Once it concludes it is safe to continue, it resumes at a normal speed and seems to have no issue from that point on. There were no cars behind me when testing this, but this sudden braking behavior could be potentially dangerous if there were, so keep this in mind if using in these types of situations. So in conclusion, Autopilot really performs best on continuous stretches of road or highway. And as you can see, it does not seem to be affected by weather and works perfectly fine in the rain. The limitations to Autopilot's behavior on city streets are constantly being improved in Tesla's full self-driving beta, and standard Autopilot has seen many improvements over the years as well. If you plan to use the standard autopilot on city streets, just be aware of its limitations and as always, be ready to take control whenever necessary. Thank you for watching and if you haven't yet seen my previous video highlighting the new features of the 2021 Model 3, feel free to check that out as well. And if you have any thoughts or questions about Tesla's autopilot, let me know in the comments below.